that Brazil is not just coxinha and carnival, but coxinha, it's okay, coxinha, it's great. Hello, scientists of the moon. I'm Daniel, this is Board Game Play, and today we will talk with you guys about this game, Luna Maris, or Luna Maris, which is a Brazilian game to one to four players, and the playtime it's around two hours. This is not a rules explanation, this is more an uh, overview of the game to let you know about what is this game and how it works. I will explain first your player board, which is this one. So you will have the oxygen track, so when you go to move from one room to another, you will spend uh, oxygen, uh, you will have a special action, so each turn you can use this special action once per turn, and at the end of the turn it will refresh. This is the probes that you can send to the, to the moon soil and extract uh, some resources at the start of each turn. This is your stress level, so the limit of oxygen will be 6 at the beginning, so if you have, if you do some activities who increase your stress, this will low and you will have less ox oxygen per turn. So if you rest at the dorms, you will increase or increase your oxygen but decrease your stress level. Here in the bottom you have your resources. This is uh, iron, but it's mineral iron and this is titanium. So we'll, you will have these cubes here, one it's grey, another one it's black. And if you do not expand this at your turn, they will go to here and if you not expand them, they become trash. This is how much trash you are producing at your base. So if you go high in uh, trash, you will have a decrease at CO2 track at the board or uh, increase your stress level. This is resources, so you have helium tree, water and energy. These resources normally you will ship them to earth. So this is one of the mechanics of the game to ship resources to earth. And this will give you victory points and some bump or at any track or a specific track. Like this one, for example. If you send two helium, you will win 14 victory points and go down at, down at CO2 track. Here at the main board, you will have the turns, so you have the day phase and night phase. In some phases you will uh, win some resources like food or energy to your base and the first player who pass will be the first at the next turn. Here you have the CO2 track, so at the beginning you are losing points but if you go up here at this track you will win victory points at the end of the game and each turn you will have like a competition to look who is first and you will win or lose or just do not win or lose victory points. This is depending of how much players are playing the match. Here you have the industry track and the recycling track and these two are tracks to exchange materials like uh, iron to water, trash and victory point or at this case some trash to have mineral iron. As far as you go at this track the changes are more beneficial. This is lunar surface so you can send probes here and then at the beginning of each turn you will extract these materials and win victory points to uh, connections. So if you have like these two here, you are connected and you will receive one victory point for two connections. Two victory points for three and four, three victory points for four connections here and the, the, the materials that you are mining at the moment. On each turn you will move to another room 
you can move as freely as you want but you will spend oxygen to move farther and you will spend energy to activate that room so each room have a, a different ability like this one you can recruit or sending a signal to earth requesting for more scientists at the beginning of the game you will have a, a initial hand with level one scientists to go to another room you need to look for these symbols and these symbols are the rooms that you can go uh, with that scientist requesting for new scientists will uh, allow you to request for scientists level two and the difference is these scientists have more uh, icons here so you can go to more rooms and they have two action points so you can do twice the same room or you can go to different rooms uh, to perform the actions of that room. On each turn you will discard some scientists so at the end of the turn they will not come back to your hand. For do this you need to use one special action to uh, give food to your scientists and the, the number here, the kind of food that you are uh, giving to them allow you to return at this case four scientists to your hand. So this game is uh, about uh, progressing on the tracks to have more benefits or to have more powerful actions, uh, activate the rooms to extract some materials from the moon and to ship them to earth. Shipping them to earth it's the most powerful action to have victory points. This game have two and a half lunar days to do all of your actions to extract minerals, to extract resources and send them to earth to score victory points and the player who have more victory points at the end of the game wins. This game it's a game from a Brazilian designer and it is available here in Brazil. We hope that you guys from the rest of the world have access to this game. This is a pretty cool game. We had some uh, comparisons with Terraforming Mars here, but the, the, the only uh, similarity that you have is your base, because you will upgrade your base and that's it. The rest of the game is a worker placement, a hand management and uh, collecting resources to gain victory points. So it's a pretty different game. This is medium to high in weight, and this is a pretty cool game. Uh, they, it has a solo mode, which have uh, AI, and you will uh, shuffle the cards from the AI and choose the actions, not choose. Uh, it will ex execute the actions in order, so each turn the AI will execute the actions. They do not use the same resources as you, and they will score points. So you need to be better than the AI to win the game. So if you like what you see here or you are interested at this game, we hope that you guys would have an English soon. Or if not, you can ask for your Brazilian friend to bring one of these games for you because it is a pretty cool game. That's it for today, guys. Any comments, suggestion, be nice. Let your comments down below. See you soon. Bye.